The celebration of RJ's return continues as the family reunites. Breaking news, these are the bold and beautiful spoilers for the week of April 24th through April 28th. Thomas asks Taylor how she feels about Brooke and Ridge. Steffi continues to defend her choices about Thomas to Liam. Sir, why you in this good face again? They definitely foreshadowing something between those two. Ridge extends the offer to Ridge Jr. Could he possibly want RJ to work at the company? Leon yet again talks to Wyatt about his struggles when it comes to Hope working with Thomas. Ridge celebrated his blended family reunion. Long at last, the recent victim of Sheila confronts her. Could this activate Sheila's plan for revenge? Brooke tries to relieve Carter's fears about Bill. Just telling the truth at this point. Sheila gets an unexpected visitor, possibly Finn. Okay, so yeah, these are the spoilers. That's all they got so far. Okay, so I don't know where to start. Probably with the Bill thing. So Bill this week continues to try to win his Katie back. There is no mention of the kiss. Nobody's talking about the kiss this week. We didn't see them even address it. We didn't see them address it. And it's like, okay, <laughs> they sending mixed signals at this point. We don't know if they're going to put them with, put Katie with Carter or if they're going to put her back with Bill. But I said, look, after that whole situation, I wonder how he will feel about the kiss. Because to me, if she tells you about the kiss, that should kind of confirm that Bill is truly the one she wants. But I don't know. Y'all know how they write this stuff. The whole time Bill was talking to Katie about taking her out or inviting her to dinner, I was like, okay, bring up the kiss. I was like, because that was, look, Carter just standing there. I was like, dude, the fact that she isn't telling him, she did say um, she'll always have love for him, and Carter admitted that she, he knows that she will always have love for him. But the whole time, the minute he came in, when Bill came back from visiting Sheila, she took her arms around Carter so fast, and I said, look, that's your answer right there. That's your answer. And she was like, whatever you got to say in front of, uh, whatever you have to say to me, say in front of Carter. And I said, bring up the kiss. I said, lead with the kiss. And they didn't even address it. And we don't know if they even going to address it. Because, you know, sometimes they, uh, they'll introduce a storyline. Then it's like they forget about it or they just choose not to go in that direction. But I was like, lead with the kiss. But um, another thing is the Thomas thing. So Thomas will be asking Taylor how she feels about Brooklyn Ridge. And I feel like that's another repetitive storyline. Well, we know that's another repetitive storyline. Because it's like, <laughs> how many times they going to do this? I was like, they'll have an interesting story. They have the opening for an interesting storyline, and then they'll just fumble it. They'll fumble it. And I was like, don't do this again. They don't build this friendship. Hollis over here asking this good out, and she won't because she's still. Um, I think the moment that uh, Brooke didn't tell Taylor about what happened with the lingerie thing is the moment that they kind of solidified their friendship in a way because she wasn't honest. She admitted the truth. She, and then the whole, oops, dropping the road thing, you did that on purpose. And I feel like that was her opening. There was a chance to prove that she's not how she used to be, but she missed it. And it's just like with the New Year's kiss, she didn't bring that up either. So I was like, look, they just trying to make these folks beef over this man again. And he just told RJ on yesterday's episode that um, he missed his family, especially your mother, to my brook. And I was like, just tell Taylor the truth. Then your heart going to always be for your Logan. Just like over here. With the uh, Bill and Katie thing, he know he won't brook, but she keep on choosing Reed. So he using Katie as his backup plan. And they everybody be like, I know fans going to want what they want, but I ain't finna urge you to be with this dude when he done told you. Well, he didn't tell you, but um, you done heard through the grapevine. <laughs> you done heard through the grapevine how he truly feels. He going to use you as a backup plan. Like, just the, one, you know, just the person I was looking for and all this stuff. I want you back. And all that, but yeah, the kids should just solidify that it's over between Carter and uh, Katie. But she hasn't even brought it up. You never get nobody the opportunity to tell your truth, and that's what that's what uh, Katie's doing. All Bill had to do is say, "Okay, but you just kissed me," or whatever, to see Carter's reaction. But this is Carter we're talking about, and we've all seen how he reacts when um, the woman he wants is into somebody else or involved with somebody else. He don't really be caring, to be honest. So yeah. But, uh, yeah, Thomas asked the Taylor how she feels about Brooklyn Ridge again. And, again, another thing that's happened again that we already seen is the whole Steffi thing. Not Steffi, well, Liam. Liam over here questioning Steffi. What, how many times this make? How many times we don't seen him recently over here questioning her about why she had them work together? And I was like, dude, they just trying to put these two back together. They definitely is. I was like, because why would you repetitively do this? I don't understand. And I want to know who the unexpected visitor is that uh, visit Sheila. Because we already know Bill done been there. Taylor done been there. I don't think Brooke been there. But she wouldn't be an unexpected visitor. Because they usually they try to taunt people. Uh, taunt her, I say. 
So it's like, um, you, it'll be expected for Brooke, it'll be expected for Steffi, it'll be expected for Deacon, Bill, um, Ridge, all of them. So I was like, Finn would be, I would say that would kind of be expected, but at the same time, it would be unexpected because of the fact that, you know, nobody really thinks that he wants anything to do with his mama. Or he could just be visiting to say something like, uh, you finally where you belong. Or it could be Jack. We ain't seen Jack lately. Lee would be expected. Jack would be unexpected, I think. Or um, do they let other prisoners visit prisoners like they might do? He would be unexpected, I think. But I don't think they allow uh, prisoners to visit prisoners. I don't know. They could. I don't know. <laughs> like he's saying, I don't know. Uh, what else they said? Lee invented to Wyatt again about his struggles when it comes to Hope and Tommy's working together. And I said, they need to just go and do what they're going to do. If they gonna, It's going very slow. I said, if they're going to put these two together, make it a fair happen, they need to go and do it. But my thing is, I don't know which direction they're going to go in. I don't know if they're going to have it where Liam and Steffi end up having an affair, and that's what leads to Hope and Thomas. Or if they're going to have, because Thomas says, even if Hope comes on to him, he's going to reject her. And I said, look, you been fighting for her. All. I said, that would kind of be funny. I ain't going to say funny. It would be interesting because we've seen him pursue her over and over again. We've seen her reject him. We've seen, I've been saying for the longest that she had feelings for him. I've definitely been saying it because it's been obvious the way she's been behaving. But I was like, ooh, her feelings. I think, and they was talking about how, uh, I think it was Taylor who was telling Brooke. I think Taylor told Brooke. I wish there was some way that uh, Thomas could prove that he's changed. And I was like, if he reject Hope when she make passes at him. And I said, I hope Liam there to see that too. Because this time, it's not Thomas. Well, as far as we know. Uh, what else do they got? They basically just keep on talking about Reed celebrating his blended family reunion. Um, just, I guess, everybody together. I was like, well, wait a minute. I don't know. They weren't everybody. I guess all of his family. But yeah, that's what it says. That he celebrated his blended, his blended family reunion. And they said Steffi confronts Sheila, finally. And I said, uh, the more recent victim, because, you know, Taylor, of course she's going to confront her about her child, what she did, left her for dead and everything. But I was like, okay, it's time for Steffi now to confront her. Because we didn't even see them interact at the hospital, aside from Lee trying to tell Finn to let her die, let Sheila die. And I said, they build, I still say they did that wrong. Because they built this whole, they hyped it up. First of all, it was so random. Like, I, we know eventually your past catches up to you. And that's what happened with, with Sheila. I about to say Steffi. That's what happened with Sheila. Her past caught up to Because I was like, look, she wasn't even. <laughs> I said, look, minding her business with her two men. And that's what got her. That's what got her. But she doesn't hold any ill will towards Deacon, though. I said, I'd be mad at him, too. Because um, he said that he would. So I wonder what's that a lot as well. Because he said that he wanted everybody to know they was involved. So I wonder. Uh, had they already came to him about working with them to take Sheila down or what? But yeah, they built this whole situation up. They hyped it up about Sheila going to jail. Um, Reed should be a worker with the FBI. The lady don't fell off the dog on the balcony. Ain't no blood on the ground or nothing. How you can fall off the balcony? You ain't got no knot on your head. You ain't bleeding. Uh, and then when she passed out, I was like, maybe that's from the fall. But they talking about a heart attack. So you ain't got no type of injury, no blood, no nothing on the ground. <laughs> no blood and nothing she just got up like a, she teleported to the doggone car <laughs> but yeah they built all this hype over Sheila getting arrested by the FBI we didn't see her get taken in they kept saying like oh she's behind bars for good and then they'll say oh she's in the hospital she Baker said she's recovering she's stable she's recovering and she's stable or whatever but they don't show it and we finally see her this week behind bars and everybody just coming to, to um confront her where deacon came to just say how sorry he is and i was like okay with the steffi visiting her thing do y'all think that um she was gonna try to seek revenge i feel like she gonna try to use deacon to help her do something because she keeps talking about well she says she want him to go live his life don't wait for her but i just don't think that's the end of the whole sheila storyline and i was like i wonder if she gonna ask him because she was like she wasn't gonna bring it up how they was involved um so i was like i don't know is this the end of sheila carter let me see what else i think that's everything that they got so far i'll update it if it's something else but um the brook trying to relieve carter's fears about bill i said look why y'all ain't being honest with i mean he could see it with his own eyes like the fact that she she did say uh when he was talking about the whole 
Cardi isn't afraid of a little competition thing. She should have been said it's not gonna be no competition because although we have a child, because if they say they got a child together one more time, I'm sick of people. That don't matter. <laughs> you know the child gotta eventually get older, right? What's gonna happen then? You gonna force yourself to be with this person afterwards? Because eventually the child gonna go live their life. So to choose to be together for the sake of a child, how old is Will anyways? But to choose to be together for the sake of a child is. I ain't gonna say stupid, but it's not a good decision to make. But yeah, we study see Katie said, we have a child together, we have a child, the whole Sheila thing. She spent time, time talking about they have a child together. And I said, okay, that ain't no reason for y'all to be together. If that's the only reason y'all trying to be together, then it ain't gonna work anyways. It ain't gonna work anyway. Once he slept with her sister, that's weird and nasty. <laughs> that should have been out of the question. He shouldn't be even up for no consideration. Cause I know it's a show, but still, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> then to find out that he told Brooke that she was the one that uh, he truly wanted. And then gonna put the moves on her afterwards. That should be your decision. But yeah, Brooke's supposed to try to relieve Carter's uh, fears or whatever. And I said, just tell him the truth. But this week, basically, supposed to focus on RJ's return. Um, as well as Liam confiding to everybody about the Hope and Thomas thing. And Sheila. People confronting Sheila. But yeah, y'all stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, deuces.